Hallelujah TV changing the world from pain to praise Tunda la lo the fruit of the spirit ni tabia ya Kristo is the character of Christ na ni hatari sana and it's dangerous ukiwa mtumishi kama mimi if you are a minister like na wengine wanao nisikiza na wengine mlioko hapo and others who are listening others who are here katika nafasi yoyote ya kumtumikia Mungu in any position of serving god alafu ukawa hauna tabia za Yesu Kristo and you don't have the characters of Jesus Christ katika nyakati tulizonazo in the times that we have watu wengi wanakataa miujiza inayotokea a lot of people refuse the miracles that happen wanakataa matendo makuu yanayofanywa na Roho Mtakatifu they refuse the great deeds done by the holy spirit kwa sababu wale wanaofanya because the ones that do au wanaotumiwa or the ones that are used na Roho Mtakatifu by the holy spirit hawana tabia za Yesu Kristo they don't have the characters of Jesus Christ unaweza ukawa na karama you may have the gift ukawa na vipawa you may have talent ukawa na neema you may have the grace ukawa mtu aliyefanikiwa you may be one who have prospered ukawa na kila kitu you may have everything ambavyo vinafanya kazi kwenye maisha yako that works in your life tena kwa viwango vya juu kabisa and in great levels lakini kama hauna tunda la roho if you don't have the fruit of the spirit ni hatari kubwa kwako it's very dangerous to you Maombi aliyofanya Mtume Paulo The prayers made by Apostle Paul kwa watoto wake wapenzi to his beloved children Baba yeyote anayewapenda watoto wake Any father that loves his children atawaombea maombi kama haya You pray for them prayers like this Aliyoyaomba Mtume Paulo That Apostle Paul prayed Wa baba wengi leo A lot of fathers today hatuna maombi kama ya Mtume Paulo We don't have prayers as Apostle Paul kwa watoto wetu to our children Mtume Paulo anasema ninawaonea utungu. Says, I feel bitter. Ninavionea utungu. I feel bitter. Utungu ni utungu ambao Mtume Paulo alikuwa anausikia. This is the bitterness that Apostle Paul felt. Ni utungu kama wa mwanamke anayeenda kujifungua. This is the bitterness as a woman that is going for delivery. Ndivyo Paulo alivyouonea utungu. That is how Paul felt the bitterness. Watoto wake ndivyo alivyoionea uchungu that kanisa. That is how he felt bitterness for the church. Alivyouonea uchungu watu wake. The bitterness for his people sio kwa ajili ya wafanikiwe not that they not prosper ila anasema ili kristo he said so that christ aumbike ndani yao can be created within kwa lugha nyingine ili wawe na tabia word, that they have the character kama za yesu kristo as jesus christ ndio kitabu cha galatia sura ya 4 look at galatians chapter 4 verse 19 vitoto vyangu ambavyo kwamba na waonea utungu tena mpaka Kristo aumbike ndani yenu Mtume Paulo anachokiomba kwa Mungu Ni kuwaombea watoto wake for his children wa kanisa lilokuwa huko Galatia of the church in Galatians kwa uchungu in bitterness kama mwanamke anayejifungua as a woman in labor sio ili wafanikiwe not that they prosper sio ili wawe na vitu vingi not that they have a lot of things bali anaomba Kristo he prays that Christ aumbike ndani yao be formed within them masomo kama haya kwenye makanisa ya leo topics like this in churches today ukiyafundisha utapata watu when you teach them you won't get people lakini ndio msingi wa kanisa but it's the foundation of the church watu Kristo aumbike ndani yao. That Christ is formed in people. Yesu Kristo akiumbika ndani ya watu. Jesus Christ is formed in people. Hautahangaika kuambia watu waache dhambi. You won't struggle to tell people to let go of sin. Convincing people to come to church. Why because mtu ambaye Kristo ameumbika ndani yake. That person who Christ is formed in him. Hawezi kujiongoza mwenyewe. He can't lead himself. Bali anaongozwa na roho wa Mungu. But he's led by the spirit of God. Roho wa Yesu Kristo. The spirit of Jesus Christ. Hawezi kupata nguvu ya kwenda kuzini. He cannot get the power to go and commit adultery. Hawezi kupata nguvu ya kwenda kuiba. He can't get the power to go and steal. Kufanya uasherati. To get into fornication. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu Kristo. Why because Christ ameshika mwili wake. Has held his flesh or body. Na yupo yuko hai. And he is alive. Ndio maana Mtume Paulo. That's why Apostle Paul. Anasema navionea utungu. He says I feel bitterness. Vitoto vyangu. For my children. Mpaka Kristo aumbike ndani yao. Till Christ is formed in them. Mpaka akue. Till he grows. Ndio maana mzazi. That's why a parent. 
ambaye ana upendo na watoto wake that loves his children huwa anawaonea utungu wa watoto wake wakiwa wadogo vyake vikue desires that the children grow na wakikua wakawa wajaimarika bado mtoto ana miaka mitano miaka 10 baada wewe sikuongea vizuri anafanya fanya he can't speak well and still stumble anapata uchungu sana huyo mtoto mbona umri wake umeenda how come the age is gone lakini mbona aongei how come he's not mbona atembei there's no walking hakuna mzazi anafurahi there's no parent that will be joyful for that no maana mtume paulo anasema naonea utungu that's apostle paul says i feel bitter what kanisa la korinto for the church of Leo. galatians today na kuombea mungu i pray to god that akupe roho ya kristo ndani yako he gives you the spirit of christ within kristo aumbike ndani yako kwa jina la yesu christ in you in the name of jesus umeo kama hauna narudia tena kama hauna tunda la roho if you don't have the fruit of the spirit unaweza ukawa umeokoka you may be saved una karama za roho mtakatifu you have the gifts of the holy spirit unanena kwa ruga you speak in tongues unafanya miujiza you do miracles lakini ukaishia but you end up jiani au ukaishia kwenda jiani na miamba or you end up going to the hell of fire kwa sababu miujiza because miracles karama the gifts ni zawadi it a gift ni zawadi. Ndio maana Yesu akaongea wazi kabisa. That's why Jesus spoke openly. Mwambie jana yako unasaidiwa. He said you've been helped. Akaongea wazi. And he spoke openly. Kama una karama ya Roho Mtakatifu. If you don't have the gift, gift of the Holy Spirit. The gift of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Karama ya tunda la Roho. The gift of the fruit of the Spirit. Unaweza ukaishia jana ya moto. You may end up in the hell of fire. Yesu aliongea kwenye kitabu cha Mathayo. Sio mimi. Jesus speaks in Matthew. Yes. Matayo sura saba mstari wa 22. Mm. Biblia inasema, mm. wengi wataniambia siku ile. Wengi wataniambia siku ile. Bwana bwana. Bwana bwana. Hatukufanya unabii kwa jina lako. Na, wengi wataniambia siku ile. Bwana bwana. Lord Lord. Umeona? Hapa Biblia yangu ilikuwa inatambulisha wafasi wa kweli na uongo. Anzia mstari wa 21 uone, eh? Matayo sura saba mstari wa shina moja. Ndiyo. Si kila mtu aniambiaye. Si kila mtu aniambiaye. Bwana bwana. Bwana bwana. Atakaingia katika ufalme wa mbinguni. Atakaingia katika ufalme wa mbinguni. Bali ni yeye afanyaye mapenzi ya baba yangu. Ni yeye afanyaye mapenzi ya baba yangu. Aliye mbinguni. Aliye mbinguni. Uwezi kufanya mapenzi ya Mungu mbinguni. You cannot do the will of God. Kama Yesu Kristo hajaumbika ndani yako. Jesus Christ is not formed in you. Ndio maana leo watu wanapambana na dhambi. Unapambana. Lakini bado unashangaa unadondoka. But you're still amazed you fall. Si kila mtu aniambiaye. Bwana bwana atakayeingia katika ufalme wa mbinguni. Bali ni yeye ayafanyaye mapenzi ya baba yangu aliye mbinguni. Msali wa 22 anasema Wengi wataniambia. Wengi wataniambia siku ile. Bwana bwana hatukufanya unabii hatukufanya nini oh my god hatukufanya nini unabii kutabiri sio njia ya kwenda mbinguni prophesying is not a way to go to heaven unatabiri hata mganga wa kienyeji anatabiri even a witch doctor prophesies bwana bwana wengi watakuja siku ile bwana bwana hatukufanya unabii Atakufanya nini? Unabii kwa jina lako. Na kwa jina lako tukatoa pepo. Kutoa pepo akukupeleki mbinguni. Casting out demons doesn't take you to heaven. Kwa jina lako kufanya miujiza mingi. Kufanya miujiza mingi akukupeleki mbinguni. A lot of miracles doesn't take you to heaven. Malizia hapa. Tulitoa, tumefanya miujiza mingi sio miujiza kidogo mingi not a few miracles a lot of them hapo angalia Yesu anachoambia nipo nitaka nitawaambia dhahiri yani nitawaambia ukweli dhahiri maana yake ukweli wazi ukweli mtupu siwajui ninyi kamwe ondokeni kwangu ninyi mtendao maovu 
Siwajui ninyi kamwe manake hajawahi kumjua huyu toka ku kutokumjua mtu kamwe manake from the beginning someone ever it means from the beginning Sijawahi kukujua I've never known Nasi hilo jina ulikuwa unataja kwa wapi I don't know where you listed the name Nasema ondokeni kwangu atenda maovu Say is go away from me you sinners Kwa kama huna tunda la roho If you don't have the fruit of the spirit Hata kama una kalama za aina gani no matter what talents or gifts you have. Kawa ngumu kuingia mbinguni. It may be difficult to get into heaven. Kalama zipo. The gifts are there. Kwa ajili ya, kutu, ya kumtukuza Mungu. So is to glorify God. Na kalama and the gift. Asikupeleke mbinguni. It doesn't take you to heaven. Bali kalama zipo kwa kufanya watu. The talents that are there to make people. Yesu Kristo. To believe in Jesus Christ. Na kalama and the gifts. Ni nyenzo. There are au vifaa or utensils vya kutumia to use kuwajenga watu to build a people lakini tunda la roho but the fruit of the spirit ni dalili it's a condition ya kukoma of being matured kwa mkristo of a christian tunda la roho the fruit of the spirit ni dalili it's a sign ya kukoma of being matured kwa mkristo of a christian kuna miti mingi sana there are a lot of trees that are the same Mashina na majani. the branches and the leaves mfano, the orange and lemon tree are the same Lakini yake but their difference ni yake. is its fruits Ndivyo ilivyo leo. that is how it is today Wa Christo, Christians they are the same na watu with other people Lakini matunda, but the fruits yanatutofautisha they differentiate us narudia tena wa kristo christians tunafanana na watu wengine we are the same to other people matunda but the fruits yanatutofautisha na watu wengine they differentiate us from other people maana yesu kristo akasema that's what jesus christ said tutawatambua we shall recognize them by their fruits ndio maana leo nimekuombea that's what i prayed for you today kwamba mungu that god akupe tunda it gives you the fruit litakalo kufanya uonekane tofauti na wapagani you to be seen different from the pagans tofauti na watu wa anaomwamini Yesu Kristo anamwamini Mungu kiuongo uongo Mungu akupe tunda God give you the fruit litakalo kutofautisha kwa jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus Yesu akasema watakuja umevama vazi ya kondoo ndani ni mbwa mwitu wa kali lakini ndani ni mbwa mwitu wa kali. Within them the fears. Mtawatambua kwa matunda yao. Je, watu uchuma dhabibu katika miiba au tini katika mi, mibaruti? Vivyo hivyo, kila mti mwema uzaa matunda mazuri na kila mwovu uzaa matunda mabaya. Utaona watu wake wapo tu kwa sababu ya ulotisho lakini hata mionekana ni watu wamejaa hofu wamejaa mashaka hawajiamini they don't trust themselves they don't have confidence haleluya ili tunda langu lina vipande vingapi it has nine pieces kwa tunda la roho the fruit of the spirit linatengenezwa na vipande tisa. it's made up of nine pieces na ukiondoa kipande kimoja when you remove one piece ilo tunda haliwezi tena kukamilika that fruit cannot be whole na lazima litaharibika and it will be rotten lakini ili liitwe tunda la roho so as for it to be called lazima the fruit of the spirit na vipande tisa. it must be connected with nine pieces mfano for example ili ni tunda langu This is my fruit. Ukiondoa hiki kipande, when you remove this piece, tayari ili tunda limepungua. This fruit is lacking. Na ukiliacha lazima liharibike. When you leave it it must be rotten. Kwa ukiniambia wewe ndani yako una tunda la roho. If you tell me within you have the fruit of the spirit. Alafu kuna kipande kimoja. And there is one piece. Katika hivyo vipande tisa nitakavyovifundisha. Akipo. Maana yake wewe umepungua una tunda la roho. It means you have decreased you don't have the fruit of the spirit. Ili uwe na tunda la roho lazima uunganishe na vipande tisa. You must have nine pieces. 
na shape ya tunda hilo huwa inajulikana and the shape of that fruit is lakini ukiondoa kipande kimoja if you remove one piece hilo sio tunda la roho it's not a fruit of the spirit ni kitu kingine it's something else hata kama uondoe kipande kidogo kuliko vyote even if you remove as the smallest piece sasa kuna watu wanajua kuna vitu vidogo there are people who know that the small things hata ukiondoa aka kapande kadogo even if you remove the small piece tayari kuna shida there is a problem sasa now vipande vya tunda la roho ni vipi which are the pieces of the fruit of the spirit hebu tuangalie hivi vipande tisa vinapatikana wapi let us look where these nine pieces are found kwa nini mtume Paulo mpaka alipata mafunuo haya ya kuombea watoto wake tunda la roho? Kwa sababu ya changamoto alizokutana nazo kwenye kanisa la Galatia. Sura ya tano kitabu cha Wagalatia. Mstari wa 22. Wagalatia sura ya tano mstari wa 22. Mm. Biblia inasema, "Lakini tunda la roho, lakini tunda la roho ni upendo." Namba moja ni nini? Ni upendo. Moja furaha. Ki, kipande cha kwanza, furaha mbili, kipande cha pili, amani. Amani kipande cha tatu, uvumilivu. Uvumilivu kipande cha nne, utu wema. Utu wema kipande cha tano, fadhili. Fadhili kipande cha sita, uaminifu. Uaminifu kipande cha saba, upole. Upole kipande cha nane, kiasi. Na kiasi kipande cha tisa juu ya mambo kama hayo na juu ya hayo mambo sasa hakuna sheria hakuna sheria maana yake hakuna mipaka there is no limits na ukumbuke torati ililetwa kwa mkono wa Musa torati ni sheria the law biblia inasema torati the bible says the au sheria ililetwa kwa mkono wa nini wa Musa of Moses bali neema na kweli ililetwa kwa mkono wa Bwana was brought by the hand of the Lord ililetwa kwa mkono wa Yesu it was brought by the hand of Jesus kwa ukitaka utembee chini ya neema ya Yesu Kristo if you want to move under the power na karama za Yesu Kristo sons and gifts of Jesus Christ lazima Yesu aumbike ndani yako Jesus was before na Yesu ndiye tunda la roho Jesus is the fruit of the spirit kwa sababu ya yale vipande vile tisa anasema juu ya mambo hayo yote hapana sheria there is no law lakini ukikosa vipande hata kimoja hata kama ni kidogo kikakosa bado una kazi ya kuitafuta mbingu you have the work to search for heaven ukristo christianity pasipo tunda la roho without the fruit of the spirit ni upagani it is paganism nirudie tena i repeat Ukristo Christianity pasipo tunda la roho without the fruit of the spirit ni pagan. it is paganism Dalili za mtu aliye na Mungu the sign of one ni upendo is love Mungu ni upendo God is love na asili ya Mungu ni upendo The origin of God is love Mungu ni upendo apenda watu Walaka wa kwanza Yohana The first book of John Sura ya 4 mstari wa 8 Biblia inasema mm. yeye asiyependa yeye asiyependa hakumjua Mungu kumbe kama una upendo amjui Mungu you don't know God na uwezi kusema unampenda mtu you cannot say you love someone tupu. tunahitaji tuone matunda ya wewe unayempenda Mungu see the fruit of you who loves God Jitoe mtumikie Mungu. Give yourself and serve God. Mtumikie Yesu Kristo naye mwambie unampenda kila siku. Toa maisha yako kwa ajili yake. Give your life for him. Toa mali yako kwa ajili yake. Give him for him. Toa nguvu zako na mwili wako kwa ajili ya maisha ya Yesu. For the life of Jesus. Hauna namna yoyote unayoweza kumtofautisha Mungu na upendo. There is no means you can differentiate God from love. Na ukiwapenda wanao kupenda If you love those who love bado mjui Mungu you don't know God Unatakiwa kuwapenda wale wanao kusema vibaya You are supposed to love those who speak evil Kuwapenda wale wanao simama kinyume na wewe You are supposed to love those who stand against Kuwapenda wale wanao kuumiza ka moyo wako Those who hurt your heart Sasa ukiwapenda wanao kupenda hata wapagani ufanya hivyo you, Even pagans do that Unasikia kabisa watu wanakusema vibaya. Hawakutaki. Ndio unawapelekea msaada wa chakula. Shida. Unanipenda kwa ajili gani? <laughs> Unanipenda kwa sababu gani? Why do you Wengi wanaotupenda wana sababu zao. Upendo 
ni kumtumikia asiyekupenda the one who doesn't love you upendo wa kweli the true love ni kumtumikia is serving anayekunena kwa mabaya the one who speaks evilly of you <laughs> amen Amen. Ndio maana Yesu Kristo. That's why Jesus Christ. Kwa upendo wa Baba. By the love of the Father. Akaamua kuwapenda wenye dhambi. He decided to love the sinners. Na kujitoa kwao. And to give himself for them. Hata mwanae wa pekee. Even to give his only son. Yohana anasema sura ya 3 mstari wa 16 anasema kwa maana chapter 3 verse 16. Jinsi for Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu. He so loved the world. Wenye dhambi. For the sinners hata akamtoa mwanae wa pekee he gave his only begotten son that everybody who believes him should not be lost but have eternal life anasema ni nani aliye na upendo kama huu says who has love like this anayeweza kuitoa roho yake au kuyatoa maisha yake kwa ajili ya mtu mwingine for another person yesu anasema jesus is saying kuwapenda upendo wa kweli ni wa kupenda adui yako. The true love is loving your enemy. enemy. Yohana sura ya 13 mstari wa 34. Biblia inasema amri mpya na wapa. Amri mpya na wapa. Mpendane. Mpendane. Kama vile nilivyowapenda ninyi. Kama vile nilivyowapenda ninyi. Nanyi mpendane vivyo hivyo. Nanyi mpendane vivyo hivyo. Amen. Umeona? Yesu anawaambia amri Jesus said the command, new mpendane. commandment I give you. Kama nilivyowapenda ninyi nanyi mpendane vivyo that you love ifyo. one another. Ukisema wewe ni mfasi wa Yesu Kristo. When you say you follow of Jesus Christ. Lazima uishi you must live kama Kristo. As Christ. Amen. Amen. Watu wengi tunasema ni wa Kristo. A lot of people say that Christ. But we are not a really Christian. Lakini si wa Kristo kweli. We are not a genuine Christian. So a Christian listen. If you are a Christian, kama wewe ni mkristo, we will receive the love of God. Tutapokea upendo wa Mungu. Love of Jesus Christ. Upendo wa Yesu Kristo. Matendo yako, your deeds, muonekano wako, your appearance, usemi wako, the way you talk. Maisha yako your life kujitoa kwako the way you give yourself ndiko tu, kuna kutambulisha wewe kwamba ni mfasi wa Yesu Kristo identify you as a follower of Jesus Christ Kipande cha pili the second piece kinaitwa furaha it's called joy nini furaha joy furaha ni tunda la roho joy is the fruit of the spirit ingawa furaha ya wengi inatokana na kuwa na vitu vya dunia furaha ya watu wengi inatokana na mambo ya dunia lakini furaha ya kweli inatokana na roho mtakatifu it comes from the holy spirit ndio maana mitume wanafunzi wa mitume the disciples walipojazwa roho mtakatifu they were filled with the holy spirit wakapata furaha they got joy wakapata furaha they got joy matendo ya mitume sura 13 mstari wa 55 mstari wa 52 ndio biblia inasema na wanafunzi walijaa furaha na roho mtakatifu na wanafunzi walijaa nini furaha furaha na roho mtakatifu na roho mtakatifu furaha ya kweli the true joy inaletwa na roho mtakatifu is brought by the holy spirit wakati nguvu za Mungu zimeshuka while the power of god has come down siku ile ya pentecost on the day of pentecost mataifa the nation waliposikia hayo when they had wakafly they were joyful Roho mtakatifu anaposhuka mahali when the holy spirit comes down mpaka mitaa until in the iliyo karibu na hilo eneo lililoshukiwa roho mtakatifu place where the holy spirit it has joy 
Roho Mtakatifu akiingia kwa baba. When the Holy Spirit gets in the father. Hata mama watoto ni nyumba yenye furaha. Even the mother the children in the house are Nyumba yenye Mungu. The house with God. Nyumba inayoongozwa na roho. The house that is led by the spirit. Unakuta mle ndani. You find that in there. Utafikiri watu wote ni watani. Kwa hiyo furaha, mwambie jeu yako furaha. Tell you neighbor joy. Haipatikani. It's not found. Kwa mambo ya mwilini. In the flesh so, man. Mataifa waliposikia haya. When nations waka fry, wakazitukuza wakalitukuza neno la Bwana nao waliokuwa wamekusudiwa uzima wa milele wakaamini neno la Bwana likaenea katika nchi ile yote lakini wayahudi wakawafitinisha wanawake wataua wenye cheo na wakuu wa miji wakawafitinisha wakawagombanisha umeona baada ya fly roho mtakatifu panaanza ugomvi kwa wanawake wenye cheo na wataua wataua watakatifu na wenye cheo wakuu wa miji wakawatayarisha wakafanyaje wakawatayarikisha watu wa waudhi Paulo na Barinaba wakawatoa katika mipaka yao nao wakawakumtia mavumbi ya miguu yao wakaenda ikonia na wanafunzi walijaa furaha na roho mtakatifu Mungu akupe kujaa furaha na roho mtakatifu May God give you feeling up with the joy Mungu akupe kujaa furaha na roho mtakatifu May God give you being filled with joy Pokea furaha ya kweli ya Yesu Kristo Yesu Kristo ni furaha yangu Pokea furaha ya kweli kwa jina la Yesu Kristo Glory in the name of Jesus Christ Nehemia anasemaje Sura ya nane msali wa kumi ni malizi hapo. Kwenye kipande cha tunda la roho. Nibakize ni vipande vingapi? Vipande saba. eh? Nehemia anasemaje sura ya nane msali wa tisa Msali wa kumi sorry. Nehemia sura ya nane msali wa kumi Ndiyo. Biblia inasema, mm. kisha akawaambia, eh. enendeni zenu. Enendeni zenu. Mle kilichonona. Mle kilichonona na kunywa kilicho kitamu na kunywa kilicho kitamu tena mpelekeeni tena mpelekeeni sehemu yeye asiye sehemu yeye asiye na nini asiyewekewa kitu asiyewekewa kitu maana siku hii ni takatifu maana siku hii ni takatifu kwa bwana wetu kwa bwana wetu wala msihuzunike wala usifanyaje msihuzunike usihuzunike wala msihuzunike wala msihuzunike tikisem mkono jirani yako mwambie usiwe mtu wa uzuni mwambie usihuzunike kwa hali yoyote utakayopitia usije ukawa mtu wa uzuni eh kwa kuwa furaha ya bwana ni nguvu zenu Mtu mwenye furaha huachilia nguvu kwa watu wake. Baba akiwa na furaha, watoto wanakuwa na afya. Familia ambayo haina furaha, watoto wao wana, wanadumaa. Watoto hawakui vizuri. Well. Sababu furaha ya Bwana ni nguvu zenu. Mtu mwenye furaha, watu wake huwa na nguvu. Leo Mungu akupe furaha kwa jina la Yesu. Mungu akupe furaha ya Roho Mtakatifu. Mungu akupe furaha ya Roho Mtakatifu. Furaha ya Roho Mtakatifu. Haiwezi kuondolewa na matatizo. Usiondolewe furaha na matatizo. Bali matatizo yanapaswa yaijenge au yajenge Mwimiri wa furaha ya kudumu ndani yako matatizo yanatakiwa kujenga mwimiri wa kudumu wa furaha ndani yako ila furaha by the joy isiondolewe na matatizo matatizo yasiondoe furaha kwenye maisha yako matatizo yasiondoe furaha kwenye maisha yako hallelujah tv Changing the world from pain to praise.